Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be talking about how to achieve compatibility, integration, a kind of blended family by actually respecting difference. Hi, I post once a week, so subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and I'll let you know every time I post. When we come together as a step family, it's very easy to think of you want one big happy family. You've got X number of children between you or even if you haven't got children between you, if there's one family and you're joining the family um, as a single parent, it's very easy to think that it's okay, we'll get into a new routine and be like a family. But I have a word of warning about this because actually everybody has got their own background in a step family and it's probably well advised to acknowledge that and work with it inside your family. So I advocate that a step family isn't one family. If you look at each member of a step family they have different arrangements. So this child over here has got these two people as parents and these four people as grandparents and then that child may have a brother or sister that has the same but the child over here has a different set of parents and a different set of grandparents and if you are the step parent coming into the relationship your parents are not your stepchildren's grandparents. They might accept them as step-grandparents. Uh, the aunts and uncles may accept them as step-nieces and nephews. And I think that's where the word bonus comes from, because they're additional and helpful and good news. But actually, your relations aren't their relations. So if you have a child of your own, you, your child will have your relatives as their relatives. So what I'm saying is that when you start off on a step family, it's probably quite important to keep the divisions there and present and acknowledged uh, and so that the family can feel as though it's not being pushed into being something it's not, but also allows people time to come to accept things in their own way, in their own time, but also acknowledges the differences inside the family, just by keeping the difference alive in your step family, I think is key to its ultimate quicker success. Because if you do respect differences and understand that children are coming from different cultures, then ultimately you're allowing the child to have their own identity to come from their own culture, to come from their own family, to, to feel content in that, and also be in the step family that accepts it. The alternative is to sort of want the child to almost forget their origins and think that your child is their sibling and it introduces a kind of well, is my culture not as good as, as yours? Do I have to be like your child to get acceptance? 
um, the, it, int it introduces an element of competition, which child is better in this arrangement, whereas in fact actually if you keep the uh, distinctions separate, then there's no reason why the two children can't be very different characters, have very different styles, be very different people and still be perfectly okay rather than well why why aren't you a little bit more like we all want you to be and therefore give up on something you feel is your own that way by recognizing that in a step family everybody comes from a different perspective can help you work together better and more harmoniously. I run workshops, sessions, um, an email response service. We write booklets. The links to my website and social media are in the description box below.